guys, Molly here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am in a different angle. I'm just trying out different angles and see what I like best. Uh, this angle shows both my two shelves and I have another shelf down here. Uh, as you can see, they are my books are reorganized once again. Uh, they are now organized by alphabetical order of author's last name. Um, not by genre, so... And then I have my TBR shelf over there. I split my books I have not read again onto my other shelf. And then put all my red books on one shelf. And that's just, I can't ever decide um, where I want my books. So, yeah. Um... I am going to be doing my Winter Biannual Bibliothon TBR for 2018 today. Um, it is being placed from January 20th to January 26th. Um, and there is going to be seven challenges, well, technically six challenges, and then one is the group, the, the group book. Uh, which I do not have at the moment. I have it on hold for my library. So hopefully I can get it soon. But the group book is Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kristen Miller. Uh, I don't know too much about this book. So I am not going to give you a synopsis. I can link down all the books down below in the description. Uh, from Goodreads if you would like that. That's what I'm going to be trying to do from now on. Uh... But yeah, uh, the, the first challenge basically is read a sequel, which I have is Blue Moon by Alison Noel, or Noel, I guess. Um, this book is the second book to the Evermore or the Immortals series. Uh, this is about a girl ever, um, and everything and she can see people's auroras I guess that's basically the sum of the first book because I guess if I give you a description this book is going to spoiler it spoil the first book obviously um but yeah this is the second book in the Immortals uh, <laughs> series so yeah I enjoyed the first book it was pretty good I gave it Four out of five stars. The writing ever just annoyed me a little bit, so that's so I had to like push through. But it's like a fast read, I guess. So I hope this book is good as well. And the next book, I mean the next challenge is read a book you've never heard of before. Uh, I've never heard of this book until I bought it at uh, the dollar store. Um, they sell books there. Uh, and that book is The Girl in the Road by Monica Breen. Breen? Breen? I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is a sci-fi fantasy. Uh, again, I don't know too much about this book. So I cannot give you a description because I read the description and it kind of confused me. But... I, once I start reading it, I always, like, I reread the description and then, like, once before I start reading it so I don't forget what it's about. So, and then when I go into the book, i like, okay, I understand what's happening. So, I read this description, the synopsis, like, a year, like, two times and I was still confused. But, um, that usually happens with me and I don't know why. But, um, and... So I have to read the description first and then start reading it so I will like remember what's happening and then it's just how my brain works. So unless I've heard someone else explain it like multiple times in like an easier way than the description does, then I can tell you what it's about. But this book I had never heard of before until I picked it up and the next book uh, or the challenge. I keep saying next book. The next challenge is read a book with a mental illness. And that book is The Treatment by Suzanne Young. This is the second book in the program uh, trilogy. 
this has to do with a suicidal academic and everything and Sloan and James they're dating and then they go into the program and they have to find their way back to each other and everything that's the basic gist of the first book uh they this book I'm not gonna tell you because it's gonna spoil it it's gonna spoil it for you but yeah I hope this is pretty good as the first one I think I, I gave the first one four out of five stars uh this does deal with uh mental illness because it's suicide academic uh, I don't know how much it dives more into mental illness in the second book, which is this one. Uh, I know they dive a lot into the first one, so I don't know pretty much about the second one. But I hope they do. But yeah, I, I just, this has to do with mental illness. Like all around, all three books, I'm gonna guess. Obviously, if it didn't, then it would make zero sense. But, um... Yeah, I hope to read this and hope it's good too. And number five is read a book that was mentioned in another book slash show or like, or movie, etc. Um, this book was not mentioned in any of like another book or series, I mean book, show, or movie. But it did say etc. So I chose this book because it was mentioned in a YouTube video. And that, like, it was mentioned in a video on YouTube. But um, that book is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Uh, this is the first book to the Immortals. Um, the Mo I mean the Immortals. I mean the Mortals, the Mortal Instrument, the Mortal Instruments series I cannot talk today um this is my second time reading this so uh and I'm reading this and all the other modal instruments and like the infernal devices and the dark artifice and the brain chronicles and uh, the novella for the shadow hunters academy uh all through this year because Emma from Emma books is hosting a read along, a Shadow Hunters read along, all through 2018. So this is going to be my second time reading it, and then have City of Ashes, City of Glass, and then I, and then it's it's going to be through uh, uh, the readathon that you can like. She, I must set it this way that it is through a publication order. So I'm not 100% sure what the publication order is, but I have a thing that I follow and everything. I just, but this is a bit about uh, Clary, and she doesn't know that she's a shadow hunter and everything. And then she meets this guy Jace. And things happen, and you know, um, it's. And then the next challenge is read a book under 200 pages and that book is going to be Happy Birthday Molly by Valerie Tripp. Um, this is the fourth book in the Molly series of the American Girl doll series. Um, I've been reading it because I, when I had these books I like read the first ones halfway and then I gave up because I was When I was reading these books, I was losing my reading touch. <laughs> my touch in reading. Um, so, I don't know. I just wasn't interested in these books, but I had the dolls and I wasn't obsessed. So, that's why I guess I didn't really read the books or whatever. So, but now I'm into it. I mean, I'm really, I'm wanting to read them since I, my childhood self never did. But my grown self is going to. So this book is under 200 pages. Um, and everything. So I am hoping this book is... I've gave, I've gave all three books um, three stars so far. This just... I liked it. I'm just like, not like amazed. Like, 
it's not my level so I'm just like okay yeah it's cute and everything but yeah and the last challenge is really a backlist title which is um a book that was not published in 2018 or 2017 or whatever um and that book I chose was Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. This book was published in 2014, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 2014. This book is about a girl who had who was sent to Oz and then she like like literally all the roles are like switched, so like good is evil and then evil is good and everything and so she has to kill Dorothy and everything and I hope really I hope this is really good because I am anticipating it a lot because I love The Wizard of Oz and it's such a great movie see such a great classic and everything so yeah I hope this book is good as it says uh, as the description says it doesn't say it's good or not but like I like the description so yeah so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it make sure you give this a big old thumbs up make sure you subscribe down below for more of me if you want to see my face and make sure you comment down below if you're going to be to participating in this readathon um, I would love to know and what your TBR is um, yeah, that's it. Okay, bye guys.